Well, we're finally going to get another video done today, and this one's been uh, in the works for a little while just thinking about it, but had a few of you guys uh, request that I do um, engine out procedure in the Aerostar, just kind of show everybody what it's, uh, what it's all about. So today we're going to go out and do a full shutdown. It'll be the same as what I do for the initial training, which is set up an ILS type uh, approach scenario where you're descending with the gear down and the flaps 20 and manifold pressure is down around 16 uh, inches and you're doing about 120 knots and when we reach the arbitrary decision height that I set up which will be at about 5,000 feet we'll go ahead and execute the uh, missed approach at that point and at the same time the uh, fuel valve is going to get turned off so you're going to kind of have a real scenario that is uh, very realistic if you were to lose an engine in that way because it does surge a little bit go through the full procedure of power up, clean up, identify, verify, feather, and then once we've done that and the throttle on the dead engine is back, we'll go ahead and feather the engine completely and uh, go ahead and climb on out about a thousand feet to kind of simulate uh, going back up to pattern altitude. And once we're up there, we'll go through the checklist and complete the uh, engine shutdown or engine secure checklist and then fly around for a little bit, kind of make some notes on uh, what the uh, rate of climb is at VYSE. Once we climb up to about a thousand feet above where we did the mist, we'll go ahead and complete the secure engine checklist. Fly around a little bit, uh, take a look at what the climb rate is at VYSE, and also see what the difference is between wings level and no rudder, or wings level and rudder centered, or ball centered, and then uh, three to five degrees of bank. And it uh, does make a significant difference in the climb. Once we get to cruise and throttle back a little bit, the speed goes up, it's not going to make that much difference, but we'll go ahead and try that as well. And the other thing I did is I put a yaw string um, on the, uh, the nose of the airplane uh, up on the windshield so we can really kind of see what's going on with, um, I don't know if you can see it up there, yeah, a little piece of blue tape and a piece of yarn, and we'll be able to see whether the airplane's slipping or not. It's kind of a nice thing to try out. Haven't done it with the Aerostar before, but uh, use that a lot with gliders because that's our um, that's our ball basically. So anyway, uh, we're going to be at about 6,500, just slightly below 6,500 pounds at uh, when we're out in the um, practice area. Uh, a couple other buddies on board, both of them are heavy. CG is going to be fairly forward. So at 6,500 pounds, we're uh, 250 pounds below the gross weight of the airplane. So it'll be a pretty realistic uh, scenario as far as the performance of the airplane on one engine. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe and like, and give me some more ideas on more stuff you'd like to see. I'm Eric Reese. I sell real estate for a living, but I fly and instruct in the Aerostar for fun. Join us on our travel and training adventures in the world's fastest light piston twin. So you can start the uh, engine with the fuel off. Okay, that's looking good. We'll turn the uh, boost pumps to low. Make sure we got pressure still. We do. We'll turn them off, which means it's running on the engine driven pump only.
pass behind the uh, Cessna and taxi uh, full length via Hotel One and Alpha to 3 4. Pantara Star 11111 one, ready to go, 3 4 left, left turn out westbound. Pantara yeah, Star 11111, one, 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 Pantara, runway 3 4 left, uh, line up and wait, traffic reporting now, Okay, line up and wait for triple one. Takeoff, three, four, left. I got a lot of runways, so I'll go ahead and do it. Run the power on up. Off the northeast for me and have the Cessna eastbound in sight before you enter the Turbos are kicked in, they're working, power's coming up nice and smooth. Okay, airspeed's alive, there's 70 knots, 80 knots, lighten the nose a little bit, 90, 95, rotate. Brakes, still got some runway, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave the gear down for a second. Alright, we can't land anymore, so gear's coming up. 10 we're gonna collapse up the rest of the way. Now, if we were going to get set up for an ILS, our normal procedure would be to slow down with drag. So, you know, everything's pretty well set where it's going to be. I'm uh, at 165 knots, so I'm 10 knots above uh, or below the speed uh, 174 for dropping flaps 20. So we'll go ahead and bring the flaps into 20. Okay, there's flaps 20, and I'm just going to let the airplane slow down just naturally. And you'd be in the... Just get the radio off so we're not, uh, it's not annoying. Can I move to the middle seat, okay? Yes, you can. Okay. That's all cooled down now, just fine. That's where we want it. And then what I'm going to do over here is set to the number three cylinder head temp on the right engine, which will be the one that's uh, going to be running. Like that. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Now I can tell my CG went forward. So both you guys, uh, what happens to the uh, what happens to VMC when you move the uh, CG forward? Freeze. Huh? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it decreases. It decreases. Actually, I guessed right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm flying a little bit right wing heavy right now. Thanks a lot. Well, it's just probably because there's a little bit more fuel in that right tank. Okay, so we're going to set ourselves up here, so... Uh, we're doing 130 knots right now, which is uh, which is great. 
and uh, we're coming up on the um, glide slope intercept. So at that point in time, my gear's going to come down, and I'm going to bring the RPM or the uh, manifold pressure back to 20 inches, and the props are going to go full forward. Mixtures are going to go full rich. So now I'm set up for the approach. Should hold about uh, 16 inches of manifold pressure here. And we're uh, heading down. We're on glide slope. Airplane is trimmed for about 120 knots. So we're going to come on down to uh, 5,000 feet. And I'm descending a little bit faster than I need to. Are you at 500? Oh, about 700, which is oh. just about right. 700 feet a minute uh, to stay on a three degree glide slope at 120 knots is uh, almost exactly right. All right, we're 500 feet above minimums. Traffic check, there's a guy behind us, nobody in front of us that I can see. Clear, clear right, clear okay. forward. Air left. 300 feet to go, gears down, we can three in the green. Normally I'd have boost pumps on, I'm not going to do that for this. Uh, well for the right engine. Alright, there's decision height, so the power's going to come in, fuel's going to go off. 120 knots, gear up, flaps up. Okay, and there's that dead engine. Power's all the way forward. Identify, dead foot, dead engine. Keep the airplane climbing, I've only lost 40 feet. It's a blue line, it's still going, but I still got a feather, or not feather prop. So I'm going to pull that left throttle back. Okay, that's good. Left coming back, feather. And that uh, did feather, so that's good. We're still doing about 130. And we're climbing at 400 feet a minute, get the blue line. Got that three to five degrees of bank in there. All right, we're climbing at 600 feet a minute at blue line. Uh, dropped off a little bit, but pretty close to that. All right, we're going to climb on up a little bit. And this guy's going off because the cylinder head temps are dropping uh, fairly rapidly. All right, let's go back to uh, getting that three, to three degrees of bank in there, get my heading back, a little bit more rudder in. And we're heavy. Um, we're you know 250 pounds below gross weight. We're also up at 5,500 feet. We're climbing about 400 feet a minute, which is pretty good. That's uh, going to get us around. I'm going to hook my left foot underneath the rudder pedal, give myself a little bit more push, keep that bank in there. Heading still in good shape. Probably just climb to 5,500, and then we'll go ahead and uh, level off. All right, so we're going to go ahead, left engine. Uh, we'll do that in a minute, not yet. It really wants to roll, and uh, just because when you let go, so you got to keep it go, keep it going. Otherwise, you're you're uh, if you're not keeping the rudder in there, you're not keeping that three degrees of bank in there. You lose a couple hundred feet a minute on the uh, climb. So we'll go to 55, and they're going to level off. Okay, that cylinder's kind of warm. Cool that down a little bit. Get some speed going. Let's turn the uh, AC is off. It's good. All right, let's go ahead and um, uh, securing engine. Inoperative engine? Yes, inoperative engine. Mixture idle cut off. Okay, so we'll take that, and that's the left one. The left one is the bad one. Okay. Boost pump off. Boost pump's off. Fuel selector off. Fuel selector's off. Mag switch off. off. Alternator off. Alternator is uh, off. Lead air off. Lead air is um, off. I'm not going to do that, though. Prop sync manual. Prop sync's manual. Electric load reduced to 55 amps. Okay, now. we're well below that. Uh, ox uh, hydraulic pump it armed. And it is? Air conditioning off. Air conditioning is off. Cross speed as required level coordinated okay. flight. Yeah, that would be over here, so we're going to cross feed out of the uh, light side. 
All right, so that's pretty much it. Temperatures have come down nicely. We're cruising along here at 37 inches, about 2,400 RPM. Uh, doing about 130 knots, which is about right. We could, you know, add more power, but there's no reason to do that on, on a day like today. So let's go through the um, restart, air restart procedure. Unfeathered? Huh? Uh, landing, okay. You're talking air, about air start unfeathering, right? Okay. Alternator on. Okay, the alternator's uh, on. Fuel selector on. Fuel selector is on. Throttle, I open one inch. Bottle. My gear warning horn works. Okay, yep. there's uh, <laughs> uh, about one inch. Boost pump on. Boost pump is on. Prime if cold. Uh, and it has cooled off. I'll go ahead and uh, just prime it a little bit. Throttle open one quarter of an inch. Okay. Prop slightly forward and feathered. Okay, and that's the that's the key. Now they changed uh, they changed this a while back. Goes there's there's a detent right there and slightly forward. Um, the older ones, they said put it full forward, but they tend to overspeed. Okay, next. Starter engage until prop starts. Okay, so here's the hard part. This is, it takes three hands, so I really got to hold that rudder to keep things going to where, where I want it. Uh, all right. Obviously, it started, yeah, okay, makes your full ridge. So it came up pretty good. We run at about 2,000 RPM. Primitive. And I'm going to come up to 15 inches of manifold pressure. Perfect. Oil pressure check. Yep, I'm still at the same altitude. Lead air on. Okay, lead air is on. Electrical equipment on as we have it on. Okay, and cross feed still on, which is fine. Engine temp pressure normal. Yep, engine temps and pressures are coming up and they're normal. I'm going to come back a little bit. Power is required. Okay. Now we're going to let things warm up. So I'm going to jump back over here and we're going to go to um, cylinder number three, which is usually the hottest one. And we're just going to run here for a bit and let that engine warm up and the right one cool down some more. Did this particular this sort of craft that has cylinder engine? Uh, uh, number three, hotter than all the other ones? Yeah, that's normal. Three and four, the middle ones, are typically going to be the warmer ones. All right, we'll come back to 30 inches on this guy. I don't need the extra power. We're doing 140 knots now. That would be typical for all air stars? This? Yeah, okay. this will be really typical. Air sphere child down there. I'm back to 6,000. Yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm going to stay where I'm at for this. Okay, temperature's coming up nicely. Still need to hold the right rudder. All right, we're up to 212. I'm going to come on up to 20 inches. Come back to 25 on the right one. Up to 2200 RPM on both. Eyes are clear. hard on the engines. Yeah, the climb bit on one engine is uh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, with us in it. Yeah. yeah. And you notice when I went through that whole process, I didn't do anything super fast. And airplane's still not losing altitude. 
so I just I was careful about doing all the right things. And they, there's an old Air Force saying, I think it came from the Air Force, that says wind the clock or slow down uh, because there's too many accidents that have occurred where people have made a decision too rapidly and end up pulling the wrong engine. And obviously, you don't want to be doing that. Star one 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 one's with you, uh, fifteen miles uh, uh, west northwest at uh, thirty five hundred with Lima landing. Star star one 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 eight tower enter left down right three four. Okay, we'll enter the left downwind for three four left. Triple one. Could be interesting to see how far out you're on your downwind. How far out away? How far away or out you'll be on your downwind? Just no, I'm just turning it down. It's about where I like to be. Okay, we'll go ahead and gear down. He's our banana five six seven. Okay, three in the green. I can see it that way. Come on down to 1600 feet. One on uh, one two zero point two standby. One for the. Hey, yes, under here. Mixture. Banana five six seven. Go. Only three four left. Ready for an eastbound departure. Five six seven six kilo clean tire fly straight out right through left up seven for take off. Left up seven clear for take off straight out seven kilo. Want to do the center line? Army. Want to do the center line? Wonder. We're not here, Bob. We're not good. quite there yet. The only thing I have left to do is uh, props. Free uh, change proof. Person seven six seven free change proof. So what's going to happen here? It's not on the checklist. Is once I'm even with the numbers, I'm going to come back to a twenty inches of manifold pressure. Go flaps 30, and uh, props are going to go full forward, and props think is manual. Over one, one, right, three, four, left, clear to land. Okay, triple one, clear to land, three, four, left. And our airspeed, we should be shooting for 110. Okay, one more time. Back on the center line a little bit. 300. Let's 
quite a sight, you know. Yeah, Unfortunately, I know. Unfortunately, they're flying, but. Well, those are new ones. Yep. All right, after landing checklist. Okay, please. windshield heat. We don't have to worry about that. It's off. Prop heat off. Yep. Heater heat off. Yep. Heater off. Yep. Strobe off. Yep. Pulse light off. Yep. Right landing light off. Yep. Props forward and manual. Yep. Mixture rich. Uh, I'm gonna leave my, uh, back a bit, but okay. Radar off. Yep. It's off. Wing flaps up, neutral. Okay. Door seal deflate. That's it. All right, it's all good. Going to ground. Main ground, Aerostar 11101, cleared Alpha 5, taxi, West Condos. West Condos via Alpha and Hotel 1. I didn't know there was a Moo 2 here. I'm I was shocked to see it. Uh, I was shocked to see it too. I don't know who owns it. Or is it somebody that's come to see me? Thank you. Thank you. Who is that? I might know you. I don't know the name. Eric Reese.